ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂ ಭರತರಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಶಿವರ್ಣ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನವದನ ಧ್ಯಾತ್ ಸರ್ವಘ್ನೋಪಶಾಂತ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕಾಜೆ ಭವರೋಗಿ ನಿಧೆ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಅಪಾರ ಕರುಣಾಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಶಾಂತೂಪಿ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರೇಂದ್ರಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ವಹಂ ಸದ್ಗುರುಚರಣಾರವಿಂದಾಭ್ಯಾ ನಮಃ ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಮೌನ ವಠಾಧಸ್ಥಿತಿಂಚ ವ್ರಜನ್ ಭಾರತ ಪ್ರದೇಶಾತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಮಧುಸ್ಯಂದಿ ವಾಚಾ ಜನಾನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಮಾರ್ಗೇ ನಯನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯೇಂದ್ರೋ ಗುರುರ್ಭಾತಿ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ನಮಾಮ ಶಂಕರಾನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ವಿಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶಿಷ್ಟಮಾರ್ಗಾನೋ ನೇತಾರಂ ಸನ್ಮತಿ ಪ್ರದ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದೈವತನ್ ಕೊರಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದೈವತನ್ ಕೊರಲ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಹಾರ ನಿಯಮ ಆಹಾರಂ means food how to eat food what food we should eat and what are the effects of those food in our body that's what acharya mahapreva is saying in all these um, chapters so all these are from uh, volume 3 in devatan kula normally we think that food is composed of components such as carbohydrates proteins sugars etc if we go to a doctor that's what they say hey you need to have less carb you need to have you know less fat you need to have high proteins high vitamins high minerals all those things are true only one part they are definitely true for the well being of our body but the food that we eat also affects our mind and in turn also affects how we conduct ourselves in this society that part modern science doesn't accept but shastra repeats it again and again what you eat you become what you eat your body will you know the literally the food that we eat becomes our body but also becomes our mind and that is why it is very very important to see to watch what we eat we normally watch what we eat if we are in the diet but this is kind of a spiritual diet if doctor says hey you have to diet because you have diabetes you have to diet because you have cholesterol we happily diet but this is kind of a spiritual diet that shastra prescribes hey if you have to have if you want to have clear mind if you want to have satvik buddhi then this is the diet we have to follow says shastra and in telling that mahaparyava has introduced the three gunas sattva guna rajo guna and tamo guna to us what is tamo guna tamo guna means inactions carelessness sleep laziness etc rajo guna means over thirst you know thirst for money thirst for power thirst for wealth over emotion over anger you know uh, like that so all so this is rajo guna and the food that we eat some food that we eat they are they have the qualities of increasing tamo guna in the person and the food that we eat certain foods they have the quality of increasing rajoguna in the eater but we need to aim for having satvik guna just like how people say you need to aim for having low glycemic index food in the same way we need to aim for having food that increases the satvik guna that is balanced nature both in terms of the taste and in terms of the quality of the food and mahapareva says if we want to have satvik guna rich food 
if you want to have food that is increase that you know that gives you sattvic guna then we need to see the three processes in this food number 1 the raw materials of the food the food with which you know the the, the vegetables the fruits with which the food is made they have to be sattvic we need to avoid tamasic and rajasic food like you know meat alcohol coffee uh you know all these rajasic and tamasic food so the raw materials have to be sattvic number 2 they have to be obtained through sattvic means if we get you know if we buy food with the money that we got that we got from rajasic in nature then the food is also going to be rajasic in nature if the money is obtained through tamasic means then the food that we eat is also going to be tamasic in nature so the raw materials have to be sattvic the means with which we obtain the food has to be sattvic and more importantly the people who cook our food and the people who serve our food have to be sattvic in nature bhagav acharya says hey if you have your parents or your wife cook for you they will have nothing but love for you so all those food is going to be sattvic in nature and even when cooking food even when eating home cooked food the person who cook the food they also while cooking have to be chanting some bhagavan nama have to be chanting from stotras in order to infuse sattvic qualities in the food mahapariyava says samaikiravargalin guna doshangal saapattil iranguginrathu the gunas and the doshas gunas the good qualities doshas the bad qualities of the cooker of the person who cooks is also infused in the food that we eat and mahaperiva reiterates again and again a hey, it is for this reason do not eat outside food eating outside food is called as parannam annam means food para means others or outside parannam others food if we eat outside food that is called as paranna bhojana bhojana is eating right so if eating outside food is called as paranna bhojana if we take any shastric book everywhere it says paranna bhojana is wrong paranna bhojana nishiddham we cannot eat that is we cannot eat the food that is being cooked that is being handled by the people that we do not know so shastra says this very very clearly why it is because of this reason because the food that we eat the quality of the people the qualities of the people who cook the food they get infused in the food that we eat and we cannot ensure the quality of the food in a restaurant like we can maybe ensure the material quality of the food in the restaurant but we definitely cannot ensure the spiritual quality of the food in a restaurant because they cook for money they won't have the love they won't have the affection that a mother or a wife or a family member normally has while cooking and that is why mahapariva says we all need to have this paranna bhojana niyamam we all you know try as much as possible try you know uh, not to eat outside not to eat food that was cooked by others says mahapariva in this aharam in this food but we need to clearly understand that whenever we say aharam we food normally we mean that the food that we eat with our mouth yes that is ahara that is there is no question about it the food that we eat with our mouth is the aharam for our mouth but we also have other sense organs we also have our mind and these organs also have their own food for the sense organ of tongue mouth it is the physical food that we eat what is the food for our ears sevikku unavillada podu vayitrukkum iyapadum says tiruvalluvar so the food for our ears is the sounds that we hear the food for our eyes 
is all the vision that we see is all the pictures is all the things that we see with our eyes is the food for our ears food for our mind is all the things that we think all the experiences that we have they are the food for our mind and we need to extend just like how the food for our mouth that is the aharam that is the physical food that we eat is going to affect our mind in the same way all the experiences that we have with our ears the food for our ears is going to affect our mind the food for our skin is going to affect our mind the food for our eyes which is the vision that we have it is going to affect our mind so all the experiences that we have through the pancha gyanendriyas they are the food for our mind so they have direct you know effect on our mind we have to be very very careful again we can extend what we saw for the food to here what did we see for the food the number one the raw materials have to be sattvic in nature in the same way the movie that we see the music that we hear we need to ask this question are they sattvic in nature if we see a, 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 you know if we see a a romba bhayangaramana movie a scary movie definitely it is going to affect our mind if we see movie where there are lot of sensual pleasures are going on definitely they are going to affect our mind if we see kanapina tv serial definitely that uh, that is going to affect our mind because when we see things when we see tv it is the food for our eyes and it is the food for our ears to be very very careful and we need to see the next thing what is the means by which the food is obtained in 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 this sense what is the means by which those things are produced we all know how black money is flowing in the entertainment industry and definitely those money are not sattvic they are going to be rajasik and tamasik if we see productions that are made with rajasik and tamasik means we are going to imbibe those qualities so that is the second thing and the third thing who serve the food who prepare the food they have to be sattvic in nature now we we see we extend that to the music we extend that to the movies that we see who prepare those movies who prepare the uh, you know who who acts in the movies who produces those movies what is their nature in you know what is their quality while they are acting in the movie we we hear we we listen to a lot of stuff people you know all this movie entertainment industry they have lot of substance abuse so all those qualities unknowingly we will imbibe if we indulge in those unsattvic experiences so not only the physical food has to be sattvic in order to have a sattvic mindset also all the experience that we have with all the gnana indriyas they have to be sattvic in nature we just have to remember one thing our mind is not a trash our body is not a dustbin so that we can throw whatever that we get at it our mind our body is the most sacred of the all things because bhagavan is staying in our mind atmatvam girija mati sahachara prana shariram griham pujate vishayopabhoga rachana nidra samadhi sthiti sanchara patayor pradakshana vidhi stotrani sarvagiro yadyat karomi tadda yadyat karma karomi tadda dakhilam shambho tavaradhanam says adi shankara acharya in sivamana sa puja is the same concept is being described in saundarya lahari in japo jalpa shilpam sakalam api mudra virachana gadi pradakshinya kramana mashana adhyahuti vidhi pranama samvesha sukham akilam aatmarpana drusha 
Saparya Parya Yaha Tava Bhavatu Yenme Vilasitam. Mahapiryava does not explain these shlokas in the volume 3. I guess he explained this uh, Saundarya Lahari shloka and he also quotes the Shivamanasa Puja shloka while he is explaining the Saundarya Lahari shlokas. Mahapiryava has explained uh, uh, many of Saundarya Lahari shlokas. There he says, he explains the shloka. I'm just telling that, quoting that here because it is very, very relevant. What does the shloka say? Atmatvam girija matihi sahachara prana shariram griham. He parameshwara, he shambo, you are my atma. Atmatvam girija matihi. My intellect is going to be girija. My intellect is parvati. Sahachara prana. If we go to Shivaloka, there will be a lot of Shivaganas, right? All the pancha pranas are Shivaganas. Shariram griham. My body is your house, says Adi Shankaracharya and Sivamanasa Puja. Shariram griham. Puja te vishayopa bhoga rajana nidra samadhisthitihi. Whatever vishayas I indulge in, it is going to be your puja, hey Parameshwara, says Adi Shankaracharya and Shivamanasa Puja. If I eat a food, that is Nevedyam for you. If I hear a music, that is going to be Sangeeta Seva for you. If I see a dance, that is going to be a Nritya Seva for you. Puja, te, te puja, vishayopa bhoga rajana, nidra samadhisthiti. Even when I am having nidra, deep sleep, that is equivalent to me having samadhi. Sanchara padayor pradakshana vidhi. Wherever I go, it is like doing pradakshanam for you. Stotrani sarvagiro. Whatever I speak, it is going to be a stotra for you. Whatever words that come out of my mind, let this be a stotra for you. Yadyat karma karomi taddatakhilam shambho tavaradhanam. So whatever karma that I do, hey Parameshwara, let all those karma be your aradhana. Says Acharya and Shivamana Sapuja. Again in Saundarya Lahri, Acharya says, Japo jalpaha shilpam sakalamapi mudra virachana. Gadi Pradakshin Gadi Pradakshin Yahuti Vidihi Japo Jilpaha Japo Jalpaha Whatever I blabber, let that be a Japam for you, he Ambar. Gadi Pradakshin Yaha, wherever I go, let that be a Pradakshinam for you. Ashanat Ahuti Vidihi. Whatever I eat, Ashana means eat. Whatever I eat, let that be an Ahuti for you. Pranama Sambeshaha Sukamakilam Atmar Panadrasha Saparya Parya Yaha Tava Bhavatu Yenme Vilisitam says Acharya in Sounder Dilahri. In these two shlokas, you know, he says, whatever food I eat, it is going to be a Nevedyam for you. Will we do Nevedyam for Bhagavan with alcohol? Will we do Nevedyam of meat to Bhagavan? Will we do Nevedyam of food that is, uh, you know, loaded with onion or garlic to Bhagavan? We don't do, right? The same way, we also cannot eat all those Rajasik and Tamasik food. Will we sing a, uh, will we sing a cinema song for Bhagavan after a puja? We don't do. Will we, you know, do, when we are doing uh, Nritya Puja, Nritya Upachara, will we do dance of something other, you know, Rajasik or quality, uh, Rajasik or Tamasik things? We don't do, right? In the same way, our body, since it is an abode of Bhagavan, we need to have that kind of mindset. This body is Bhagavan's abode. And whatever we do with this body, it is going to be an aradhana. It is going to be an offering for Bhagavan. That is why we definitely need to watch whatever experiences that we have. If we have sattvic experiences, it is like offering sattvic food to Bhagavan. If we have rajasik and tamasic experiences, it is like offering rajasik and tamasic food to Bhagavan. And it is up to us. What do we want to offer for our Bhagavan? Asks Mahapiriva in Devat Tempural. So we need, when we say Aharam, it is not only the physical food that we eat, but it is also all the experiences that we have. If we want to have Sattvic mindset, 
we need to have sattvic experiences so that is the main crux of aharam with this we have seen shastras dictating what to eat when to eat how to eat okay shastra will say eat sattvic food what to eat when to eat shastra has a time table okay afternoon you eat evening you eat and how to eat when you are eating what is the pankti how how should we start eating all those things shastra will say but shastra does not stop with that those things are called as vidhi there are two things vidhi and nishedha vidhi means do's nishedha means don't we have several do's and don'ts right in the same way shastra will have a list of do's for regarding aharam shastra will also have several don'ts for aharam what not to eat when not to eat and how not to eat shastra will say what not to eat rajasik and tamaris tamasik food we have to avoid that is a nishedham what not to eat when not to eat we cannot eat food in the midnight shastra will say that and also there are several days that are marked by shastras as upavasam days we all know upavasam means vratam means empty stomach those are the days where we are not supposed to eat those days are called as upavasam in fact the real meaning of the word upavasa is upasamipe vasati upa means samipaha means near vasati to be near to be i am near bhagavan on those upavasam days we are very close to bhagavan that is why those days are called as upavasam we all know upanayanam we say upa means near nayanam means eyes after the brahmachari has undergone the ritual of upanayanam he is supposed to stay with the guru under his eyesight you know under his constant supervision that is why that karma is called as upanayanam and even upanishad upa samipe is there so here upavasam upa vasati upa near samipe vasati to be to be near where to be near bhagavan that is why those days are called as upavasam and upavasam means not eating why why should we have you know fasting days the same shastras will tell us ke hey, these days you can eat a lot of food if you take a dharma shastra pustakam it will say on your birthday you can have pancha bhaksha paramanna on deepavali day on uh, bhogi pandiga day you make a lot of food you eat a lot of food all sattvic food is always understood so shas the say on your marriage day you eat a lot of food even veda says annam bahu kurvita tadvratam you have to make a lot of food and give it to lot of people you also enjoy lot of food shastra does not prohibit you our shastra is not prohibitive our shastra will not reject pleasures to your body shastra will say hey have as much as pleasure you want but just have it in sattvic means if you love hearing music just hear sattvic music just hear bhagavan nama if you like dancing do not dance for any human but dance for bhagavan so our shastra is not restrictive in nature our shastras are not prohibitive in nature our shastras main point is not to restrict our pleasure but is to regulate our pleasure in the same way the same shastras who say hey you eat a lot of food on these 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 days the same shastra will say you have to stop eating food on certain days just like how eating is very important for the growth of our body in the same way fasting is also important for the growth of the body just like how a gas pedal is very important just like how an accelerator is very important for a journey the brake pedal is equally important for the safe journey if feasting is like putting gas if see if feasting is like pressing gas then 
fast thing is like pressing the brake pedal we need to know both in order to leave nicely the journey of life so shastra says mahapariva says in devathan kural what is the reason behind upavasam we we don't want to stress our body right but shastra says hey do not eat in these 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 days why mahapariva says several reasons the first reason is to remove a dehatma bhava we all think that we are our body and we give unnecessary importance to our body necessary importance have to be given that is absolutely no second question about it the body is important our body is dharma moolam you know our body our deha is a tool for performing dharma all those things are there but shastra says you know understand that your body is a tool to perform dharma but do not give over importance to your body our dehatma bhava means identifying ourselves with the body dehatma bhava is thinking that i am my body and mahapariva says having fasting you know doing fasting helps to remove the dehatma bhava we have to go from dehatma bhavam to jeevatma bhavam to paramatma bhavam and fasting helps in the first step to remove our dehatma bhavam mahapariva says and i put pasi eduthalum pattini kidandu palagu vambum veenum pesuvadil sukham irundalum maunam anushti kannai iluthukondu ponalum thoonguvadillai endru ராத்திரி பூரா விழித்து கொண்டு ஈஸ்வர சம்பந்தமாக ஏதாவது பண்ணி கொண்டிரு பசி எடுத்தாலும் பட்டினி கிடந்து பழகு ஈவன் வென் யூ ஆர் ஃபீலிங் ஹங்க்ரி இட் இஸ் ஓகே டு ஃபாஸ்ட் ஒன்ஸ் இன் அவை வீணும் வம்பும் பேசுவதில் சுகம் இருந்தாலும் மௌனம் அனுஷ்டி வென் வி வாண்ட் யூ நோ காசிப்பிங் கிவ்ஸ் அஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் பிளஷர் பட் it is okay not to gossip for certain days it is okay not to speak for certain days kannai iluthukondu ponalum thoonguvadillai endru raatri poora vilithukondu ishwara sambandhamaaga edavathu pannikondiru even if i get to sleep even if i doze off on certain days like shivaratri vaikuntha ekadashi once in a while two days in a year we can wake up we can wake up all through night and do something related with bhagavan mahapariva says ipdi ellam palaga palaga dehatma buddhi pogum when we practice all these things we lose our dehatma bhava we will slowly lose of the notion that we are our body shariram eppadi aanalum chittam paramaatmavidam nirkum irrespective of our bodily conditions irrespective of our bodily discomfort our mind will be with bhagavan chittam paramaatmavidam nirkum upa samipe to stay near bhagavan right so chittam paramaatmavidam nirkum ippodu pidithe palagikollavittal marana vedanai endru solugirargale அந்த பெரிய ஜீவ ஹிம்சை அந்த பெரிய ஹிம்சை சரீரத்துக்கு வரும்போது மனசை எப்படி பரமாத்மாவிடம் செலுத்த முடியும் கிருஷ்ணா சேசின் பகவத்கீதா த தாட்ஸ் தட் யூ ஹாவ் அட் தி மோமெண்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் டெத் வில் டிக்டேட் யுவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் பர்த் இஃப் ஐ எம் யூனோ வென் ஐ எம் டையிங் இஃப் ஐ திங்க் அபவுட் அ கவ் தென் ஐ வில் பி பார்ன் அஸ் அ கவ் இன் மை நெக்ஸ்ட் ஜென்மா we have a story we have a jata bharada story in shrimad bhagavatam this great rishi will be thinking of just when he was going to die this rishi will be thinking of a deer so in the next janma he will be born as a deer so the dehavasane you know when we lose our body whatever the thoughts that we have it is going to dictate our next birth when we lose our body if we think about bhagavan then we will go to swarga then we will go to kailasha or vaikuntha but if we think about something else then we will be becoming something else right mahapariva says if one day you don't eat and you have little bit hungry if one day you don't sleep you will have little bit you know mental instability or you know some uh, uh, you know you, you will not be all right right if in those days you cannot think about bhagavan 
so all these things are practice for thinking about bhagavan while having bodily discomfort we all have no problem in thinking about bhagavan when we have enough things to do when we have you know when we are satisfied we don't have any problem thinking about bhagavan but when we have something but when we have a problem it is very difficult to think about bhagavan you know we say that there is a narada story i, I will i will forward that stories uh, you know in that group sometimes you know the narada will be asked to have a, uh, a in a cup full of oil and bhagavan vishnu will ask narada to go around the universe with a cup you know with with a cup full of oil filled to its brim narada will be going around the universe with a cup full of oil filled to the brim and krishna and narayana will ask narada hey narada how many times in that event you remembered about me how many times you remembered about me when you were circulate when you were uh, you know doing pradakshinam of the universe narada will say hey bhagavan are you mad or what i have a most important task in my hand you said you i should not you know split even one drop of oil from that cup then how will i have time to think about you if i have something you know if i have something to worry about then we won't have time to think about bhagavan when we are having marana avastha it is the uh, biggest himsa for our shariram it is going to be the biggest discomfort for our shariram and while you know not eating for one day not sleeping for one night if we cannot think about bhagavan what will we do when we are having that marana avastha we all know how people how discomfort people will be when they are passing away so all those things you know uh, doing upavasa having fasting restricting ourselves regulating ourselves will help us to have bhagavat smarana during antim you know during our antima kala says mahapereva all those things are to remove the dehatma bhavam a next thing as a rest to our digestive systems udambu udambu endru mulsaga ondra eduthukondal adarku aaru naal velai kuduthal oru naal leave tharuvathu endru yerpattirukkirathu aanal inda udambukkulle vairu mudalana urupukal thaniyaga velai pannikondirukkindranave ivatril hridayamum langsayum konjam kuda rest eduthu vekka mudiyadu vayitrukku kodukka mudiyum kodukkavum vendum yenendral சூலமாக வெளியிலிருந்து வஸ்துக்களை வாங்கி கொண்டு அரைத்து கரைத்து ரொம்பவும் உழைப்பது அதுதான் எப்போது பார்த்தாலும் வேலை செய்யும் கருவி அதுதான் எப்போது பார்த்தாலும் வேலை செய்யும் கருவி கெட்டு விடுவது போல் ஒருவேளை மாற்றி இன்னொரு வேலை என்று ஓயாமல் வேலை பண்ணி பண்ணினால் ஜீரண கருவிகள் கெட்டுவிடும் ஆகாரம் தான் ரத்தமாகி பம்ப் ஆகும் போது மூளைக்கு பாய்கிறது அந்த மூளை ரொம்பவும் நுட்பமான அவயம் அதனால் அதற்கு இந்த இரத்த ஓட்ட வெயிட்டை அவ்வப்போது குறைக்க வேண்டும் இதற்கெல்லாம் உபவாசம் உறுதுணை செய்கிறது வி சே வி கிவ் ரெஸ்ட் ஃபார் அவர் பாடி வி கோ டு ஒர்க் ஃபார் ஃபைவ் ஆர் சிக்ஸ் டேஸ் இன் அ வீக் அண்ட் தென் ஒன் டே வி மார்க் இட் ஃபார் அவர் ரெஸ்ட் யூனோ டிவி if the tv is running for 24 hours people will say hey, turn off the tv laptop he will say turn off the laptop for some time so that it can get some rest if we can give rest for all those instruments what about our inner organs in the inner organs our brain and our heart cannot be given rest but we can give rest for our digestive system and mahapariva says not only we can give rest we should give rest for our digestive system because it operates all the time you know just like how a pump without giving rest if you keep on turning on the pump for the whole day it is going to go bad in the same way our digestive system if we don't give any rest for the digestive system it is going to give us problem which the doctors will say as diabetes kidney stones liver problem blah 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 all these problems are due to excessive eating over indulgence and having upavasam having fast helps us to prevent all those lifestyle diseases say mahapiriva and more importantly this upavasam is very useful for our chitta shuddhi for our atma shuddhi 
பட்டினி கிடக்கின்ற போது மனசுக்கு பரமார்த்திகமாகவும் பகவத் விஷயமாகவும் போய் தோய்ந்து நிற்கின்ற தன்மை உண்டாகிறது இதனால் தான் பகவத் ஸ்மரணம் விசேஷமாக இருக்க வேண்டிய தினங்களில் பூர்ண உபவாசமோ ஒரு பொழுதோ வைத்திருக்கின்றது இஃப் வி ஆர் ஹங் இஃப் வி ஆர் யூனோ இஃப் வி டோன்ட் ஈட் மகா பெரியவா சேஸ் தென் அவர் மைண்ட் வில் கோ towards bhagavan because we won't have any energy to go to indulge in exter ex, you know outwardly things so our mind will naturally tend to go near bhagavan and that is why it gives us chitta shuddhi it gives us purity of our mind there is a shloka that mahapariva quotes vratopavasa niyamaihi kleshita sukham asnute ikshu kleshat yathanandam tada prapnoti tat sukham just like how if you want to get the juice of a sugar cane you need to put that sugar cane through severe ordeal you know we have seen sugar cane presses those you know sugar cane will be nice and strong you have to press that sugar cane you have to hurt that sugar cane in order to get the nice sugary you know uh, the sugar cane juice in the same way when we put our body through an ordeal பிரதோபவாச நியமைகி கிளேஷித சுகம் அஷ்ணுதே வி வில் கெட் த நைஸ் சுகம் ஆஃப் பரமார்த்மா ஆஃப் பரமார்த்த சுகம் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் வை உபவாசம் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் உபவாசம் ஆல்சோ லீட்ஸ் டு பிரம்ம ஜானம் சேஸ் மகா பெரியவா கோட்டிங் ஃப்ரம் அன் உபனிஷத் ஐ திங்க் இட் இஸ் சாந்தோகிய உபனிஷத் இட் சேஸ் வேதானுவச்சனேன பிராமணா விவிதிஷந்தி யஜேன தானேன தபசா அனாசகேன அனாசகேனாசகேனாசகேனாட் when we not eat when we don't eat it also paves way for brahma gnanam see how fasting is on the same list as yajnam danam and tapas yajnam danam tapas we cannot do you know vajapeya the yajnam we cannot do any danam we cannot do a lot of tapas but we have fasting when we fast on certain days it is equal and it gives us the same product as yajna dana and tapas so that is why acharya says you have to do upavasam and there are several types of upavasams there are two types of there, there is a krichram called as chandrayana krichram so this is normally given as a prayaschittam to several papams nowadays we have jail system right but in the old days especially for a learned brahmana they won't put them in jail they won't give you know lot of uh, hard punishments because of the vedam that the brahmana has studied so the prayaschittam is going to be something like chandrayana krichram uh, some krichram means you know it is a uh, it, it is a prayaschittam and this chandrayana krichram krichram means fasting depending upon the face of the moon depending upon the face of the moon you regulate the food that you eat there are two types of chandrayanam called as pipilika madhya and yava madhya pipilika and ant if we see an ant the two extremities is going to be big it has a big head it has a big tail but in the middle it has a very tiny middle it has a very small middle in the same way you start having food from um pournami day pournami day you eat 15 morsels of food and then the next day chaturdashi you eat 14 the next day trayodashi you will eat 13 in the same way you will be decreasing your food intake one day by one day by one day and in amavasya poorna upavasa do not eat anything and then for the next 15 days you will keep on increasing the food that we eat till the next pournami this is called as pipilika madhya chandrayanam and there is another chandrayanam called as yava madhya chandrayanam yava madhya krichram it means you start your uh, vratam on amavasya day on amavasya you don't eat anything 
on prathama on krishna paksha prathama you will eat one morsel of food on dvitiya you will eat two morsels of food in the same way you will keep on eating till pournami where you will have 15 morsels of food and then you decrease you know uh, day by day by day ending it with amavasya having no food on amavasya day it looks like a wheat grain if we see a wheat grain it is small on the extremities and then it goes bigger on the middle so that is why this chandrayana is called as yavamadhya krichram and the previous one is called as pipilika madhya krichram in fact if we take any dharma shastra texts for any papam okay i did not do gayatri japam for 3 days the prayasthitam for that is do a chandrayana krichram i did not do amavasya tarpanam the praya chitram is going to be chandrayana krichram for anything for most of the thing the praya chitram is going to be these types of krichram but the problem what happened later was that people found it so difficult to observe these krichram because all these things are 15 days you know it, it takes 15 days with bp sugar all the diabetes all those problem people cannot you know regulate that the, the, the you know the food that they eat so what did they decide okay the, i mean they did not decide the shastra itself said that hey if you cannot observe chandrayanam all you have to do is do a godana if you do a godana it will give you the same benefit of you know removing papam by observing chandrayana krichram and the same shastra will say okay what about people who do not have a cow they will say okay if you do not have a cow give this much money to a brahmana that is equivalent to godana okay then question come what about the pe- uh, person who do not have that kind of money if you want to buy a cow it is going to be 20000 rupees i don't have 20000 rupees what should i do okay give at least 100 rupees to a brahmana it is equivalent to doing a godanam doing godanam is equivalent to doing a chandrayana krichcham and if you do a chandrayana krichcham your papam of not doing gayatri japam for 3 days will go away so that is what we all are doing before every marriage the the girl's father will undergo this chandrayana krichcham before every marriage the the guy you know the the, the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the the maapillai will undergo chandrayana krichcham you know after marriages there are several functions where people will say okay chandrayana krichcham pradiniti i will give this 150 rupees i will give this 100 rupees to this brahmana this is equivalent to observing chandrayana krichcham even before the 60th birthday all the sashtiyapta purti the sadhabhishekam and all we are supposed to observe this chandrayana krichcham because it is it is supposed to be a prayasthita karma which is which is supposed to remove us all of the papams mahaparivara says we have brought that to you know like keli kooth by giving 100 rupees to a brahmana you know in mahaparivara times it is like aregalana or something he says but now we give 100 rupees to a brahmana and we say okay this is the pradhiniti for observing chandrayana krichcham but all these things are to be observed because it really helps us in getting chitta shuddhi so apart from chandrayana krichrams there are also several vratams that shastras prescribe vratams like kritika vratam sashti vratam chaturthi rishi panchami pradosha vratam somavar vratam shravanam vratam etc in all these days it is good not to have any food so even if you don't have food even if you cannot like be with not having food for the whole day at least skip one meal you know afternoon you eat in in the evening you can have some palaharam says the shastra and mahapriyava says in south india people also do vratam for sani kalame people also do vratam on saturdays for venkata ramana swami and um, people do guruvara vratam for thursdays people will do vratam mahapriyava says in daiva tirupural so all those vratams we can observe it is not you know essential for one person to observe all of these vratams because krittikai and sashti they are for murugan chaturthi is for mahaganapati pratosha somavara is for shiva shravana vratam all those things are for mahavishnu so you know saturday vratam is going to be for mahavishnu so depending upon you know what you want depending upon which deity is, is your ishta devata you can observe some vratams like these um you know in order to get the benefits says mahapariva and also he says we normally have so we we say we all have heard this word of palahara he say okay if if on vratam days on uh, chaturthi day 
or on sashti day i am observing vratam i eat one time and then one time i fast okay because i cannot fast for the whole time we normally have something called as palahara and what we think as palahara is something like idli dosa upma or chapati we think those are palaharam but mahapariva says it is palaharam phala means food when we say palaharam it is eating fruits not eating like idli dosa with chutney sambar no 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 that is not real palaharam real palaharam is eating fruits just the fruits and the milk on those days that is going to be the real palaharam so when we say next time we have to do if, if the sastrikal who comes to our house says hey tonight you have to do palaharam it is not pala aharam like idli dosa puri etc it is palaharam means having just eating fruits mahapariva says so those things we can follow and there are several upavasa days where shastra itself will tell eat only one food skip a meal it is like intermittent fasting skip a meal shastra will say the first and foremost of those upavasam is ekadasi we are going to see about ekadasi in detail today and in the next class so we will leave that for now and then we will say what are the other days and what is the meal that we need to skip during sundays amavasya and pournami day you can have lunch and we need to skip dinner says shastra during sundays amavasya pournami have just lunch skip the dinner if i say skip the dinner it you can have palahar like the real palahar means having fruits so on those three days you 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 eat only during lunch and no dinner and ashtami and chaturdashi days during ashtami day and during chaturdashi day we have we are supposed to skip the lunch and eat only during dinner time it seems mahapariva says in devatan kural he quotes dharma shastra pustakam so amavasya sunday and pournami it is only lunch no dinner ashtami and chaturdashi it is only dinner no lunch so these are the shastrik prescribed upavasa days and during days like shri rama navami gokulashtami and shivaratri purna upavasa has to be observed like purna upavasa means we cannot eat during both lunch and dinner so during on these three special days shri rama navami gokulashtami and shivaratri purna upavasa has to be observed mahapariva says that at least during shivaratri people observe purna upavasa but during shri rama navami and gokulashtami we make a lot of bhakshanam we make panangam we make sundal and gokulashtami kekave venda we make lot of muruku seedai etc 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 so during gokulashtami we don't observe any upavasam but according to shastras the dharma shastra pustaka says you know on all these days shri rama navami gokulashtami and shivaratri we have to observe purna upavasa says shastra and now we are coming to the main topic that is ekadashi upavasa it is so happened that we are seeing um uh we are seeing this ekadashi day we are seeing about this ekadashi on today the april 11th and this is the 11th sec- this is the 11th class of devatin kural so everything is 11 11 11 today ekadashi the 11th day and dharmatin kural this is the 11th class and today is april 11 so it also happened nicely so ekadashi shastra says okay this is the this is what you need to do during ekadashi what is that ekadashyam tu kartavyam sarvesham bhojana dvayam ekadashyam tu kartavyam sarvesha everybody should do this on ekadashi what is that bhojana dvayam does it mean eat two times a day on ekadashi but just now we saw that ekadashi we cannot eat anything right but here the shloka seems to suggest that you need to have you need to eat two times a day because bhojana means eat dvayam means to bhojana means eating two times a day but no 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 there is a pun involved here it says ekadashyam tu kartavyam sarvesham bho jana dvayam bho jana he people you have to do two things dvayam kartavyam ekadashyam during ekadashi he people bho jana you have to do these two things dvayam kartavyam what are the two things 
Shuddhopavasa Prathamaha. You have to have Shuddha Upavasan as the first thing. Shuddhopavasa Prathamaha. Satkatha Shravanam Tataha. It is not only important to have Shuddhopavasam, but it is also important to do Satkatha Shravanam. We have to be in contact with Bhagavan on that day. Just I, I fast during Ekadashi and I watch a movie that is not Ekadashi Vratam. We also have to be involved in doing Nama Sankirtanam. We also should do Bhagavad Katha Shravanam on Ekadashi day. Says the shloka, Ekadashyam to Kartavyam, Sarvesham Bhojanadvayam, Shuddhopavasa Pratamaha, Satkatha Shravanam Tataha. Says Mahapiriva in Devatin Kural. With this, we will finish today's class. Poor Namada, poor Namidam, poor Nad, poor Namudachete, poor Nasya, poor Namadaya, poor Nameva Vasishete, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, Shri Guru Bhyona Maha. Arihi, oh. More about Eka the Shivratam 